Welcome to the GSMC Pets Podcast, the show that caters to pet lovers of all kinds. We'll talk about pets on social media, pets doing amazing things, and how to take care of the pets in your life. Whether your pet is a dog, a cat, a llama, hamster, reptile, or something more exotic, you'll find educational and entertaining information on the GSMC Pets Podcast. Howdy, howdy, and thank you for choosing to tune in to the GSMC Pets Podcast, which is brought to you today by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Samantha Melvin, and I also have, again, Mr. Man Eisen, just kind of chilling out on his yellow blanket and sniffing at his catnap and maybe even looking at it, but right now he seems pretty nice and calm and happy, which I wish I was, <laughs> to be honest. I'm still quite bored. And well, that that boredom usually leads to online shopping or at least on do- online window shopping. So that is going to be our show for today. Pretty much. We are going to talk about and possibly make fun of certain items that you can find on Amazon. Maybe some are very useful for your cats. Maybe not so. Maybe some of these things are a complete waste of your money, but who cares for window shopping and possibly shopping for Eisen. So we are going to be talking about something called a collapsible tunnel, which you kind of think of when you're thinking of dogs, but plenty for cats. There's also going to be a litter mat to talk about. Then we are going to talk about, let's see, a cat house and scratcher, a cat shelf, which I've always wanted to do for Eisen. And also, let's see, a cat portal do- door, which I also have been wanting to do for Eisen, like crazy wanted to do. But we will close with one of those fantastic novelty items that, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to tease. And it's basically, maybe you're a bit too close to your cat. Think Angela in the office when she has to go and take care of her one of her cats and she leaves like the webcam on. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so let's get to talking. So what I wanted to talk about first is one of those types of items that you don't really you don't really think of cats for. You mostly think of dogs. And when I say this it's more like you the kind of thing that you see in agility courses for dogs and that is the collapsible tunnel tube and let's see the description the actual product description name on amazon is paws road cat toys collapsible tunnel dog tube for fat cat rabbits dogs length 51 uh, uh, inches and with a diameter of 12 inches and this is priced at seventeen ninety nine for me, um, with you know going through Prime and uh, with free returns actually. <laughs> so let's see, the list price is usually twenty two ninety nine, which okay, that's fine. Now the great thing about this tunnel, and I'm just looking at the pictures and stuff, and <laughs> there's a top hole, like on the cylinder of the of this tunnel where the cat can pop out that. And one of the pictures has this very uh very interesting cat that looks like it's saying, Kill me now. <laughs> Mom, Dad, what are you doing to me? <laughs> essentially. And he's just kind of sitting uh sitting up in this little hole, uh basically hanging out. And there are definitely some really cool things inside this tube well when i say things as in plural it's mostly like 
repetition, essentially. Like, I'm looking at a picture inside this little tunnel with a little cat again, who looks much happier, by the way. And, like, inside the tunnel, there are little um, poof balls that the cat can play with. So, you know, just kind of batting around and maybe grabbing and clawing it occasionally. And it just seems like a really fun thing to have for the cats. Like, looking at the full picture, like, you can't really gauge it just by itself. But behind it, there is, like, a a large dresser right behind it. And this this cat tunnel actually spans uh, much larger than this dresser, which is pretty cool. Now, I have to say, <laughs> the really funny thing about this is the uh, description of bigger than bigger. What does that mean exactly? How big is this thing? Like, we have the measurements, but what, you know, still, how does what does that look like? Because, you know, you could grab a piece of furniture and say, oh, this looks like it'll fit in my house. And then you put it into your living room, and then you realize... Wow, this might be way too big. And that's kind of what I'm worrying with this thing. What if I wanted to take it into my upstairs in case I wanted to let Eisen have like a private space that he could like, disappear to uh, whenever he wanted to? And let's see, it's also a strong and solid spring structure. Sprung steel frame pops out and retracts easily for portable, fun, and easy storage. So I don't think this will be for fun for Eisen. Uh, I think that this is mostly going to be him for hiding and just relaxing without the, uh, without the dogs in the way, pretty much. And let's see, soft and durable faux fur with fun, crinkly leopard print fabric. Yes, I forgot to mention. It has leopard prints. And I don't know, like... Just a random story. <laughs> Yesterday, I actually wore leopard print, leopard print leggings, and I just kept on thinking of Tiger King, and then also, um, this is, I don't know if the kids will really understand this, but Johnny Bravo and his mom, his mom just kind of screamed leopard print to me, and I can't remember her image very vividly, but I have this new pair of glasses, and I had a plain black shirt on, and these these leggings on me. And I just kept on thinking, oh my gosh, I am Johnny Bravo's mom. Which is totally irrelevant here. <laughs> but, hey, it kind of... No, I don't say... I can't say it kind of works. But this <laughs> this thing is also described as having a very generous size. And there's plenty of room for big cats to turn around. So I would suspect this would be great also for Maine Coons. But I'm also kind of nervous that um, maybe Regina might still be able to get into it while causing extreme damage to it. But hey, it looks like fun for the cat. Right, Eisen? You don't like it? Well, maybe I can veto that and ask my husband to see what he thinks of it. He'll probably hate it too. But you know what? There's no reason to not ask. So for the rest of this, <laughs> let's see. There's so much to talk about on this, just this advertisement for this, um, for this tunnel. And let's see. Why? Why prepare cat tunnel toys and how, well, let me back up. Why prepare cat the tunnel toys? our advantages. What is, I don't know what that means. And it's a sign held up by cats. So I'm just going to assume that's like cat slaying or something. Uh, but scrolling on down, let's see, 12 inch larger opening. So I guess they're comparing it to like another product that they had. Ooh, number two, double fun window. <laughs> so, uh, let's see a lot of cool stuff here for cats. And there are actually plenty of videos of people, like, letting their cat enjoy this, this, this tunnel. Like, one person says that it's very well made, they love it, excellent for puppy and small dogs, tunnel of fun. Let's see, what else, what else? 
Let's see. I just... I just can't tell if the cat is having fun. So... I... Just... Yeah, I don't know. But... There's not a... Again, it's kind of going back to what I have to say. And that is, it's not all about you when you get these toys or furniture for your cats. And you have to think about, well, will your cat enjoy this? Or is it mostly for you to look at it and say, aww, when he occasionally uses it? Or when he rarely uses it? So that's actually something that I'm a little bit concerned about with this, um, with this product. And I wish that I could, like, maybe rent one? Because apparently it's easily washable, too. So, maybe I could beg and plead my husband <laughs> to let us do this. And the reason why I'm bringing up my husband on this is because, well, he knows the cat, you know, the cat. He knows Aizen very well. They're best friends. And, well... Sometimes I just want to get stuff for Aizen and just enjoy it and hope that he likes it, but that hasn't really worked out in the, you know, in the history of Aizen. Like, we know that he doesn't like, like, ring, ringing bells or uh, balls that have little rattles in them. He hates the sound. And, I mean, the little balls in the tunnel, like, it doesn't look like it has anything in there. So maybe it'll be, a, like, a brush of luck here. And let's see. Oh, I see reviews here. So let's see. Hmm. You know, there are actually some that actually talk about the their cat and how they enjoy it. So <laughs> here's actually one review. Um, her cat fits through the holes easily. He can stick his head out on the top holes and quote, I'm not sure if he could fit his entire body through the top holes. He hasn't really tried yet. So there's that. And this cat, Earl, is, um, about 18 pounds. So yeah, I think that, I think that really is hopeful for very big cats. So there's also the line, a few more, that say it's a good quality tunnel, and it's an instant success. So I think that is... Oh, wait, I have to read this one. Uh, this one guy gives it five stars and says, perfect for a fat cat. So we already knew that this is really focused on bigger, small creatures, if that makes any sense. So the ones that are a bit too big and can't really maneuver through places just because of their unnatural size, pretty much, which is okay. Um, which, I, I don't know. A long time ago, Eisen was pretty big. He was around 16 to 18 pounds, but he's lost so much weight now, um, mostly because of his thyroid. But I think he would still find some enjoyment, have like a little space to move around. But again, that makes me worry, is Regina just going to tear through it? So I would probably say it's a may or may not buy, but I'll definitely put it on my wish list. So now we're going to be moving on to something also quite interesting. And that, my friends, is, well... <laughs> I didn't look at my list prior to this. I'm sure you guys will very much so enjoy this next next product, which is the cat litter mat. And this is me mostly. Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. Um, I will describe it to you when we get back to our get back from our commercial break. You really can't underestimate the importance of having the right creative work for your brand or your product. Whether it's a logo, a website, a book cover, or an ad campaign, you really need a quality design to make that big difference pop and deliver your overall engagement and success in a competitive market. That's where Design Crowd comes in. 
Design Crowd has over 750,000 designers from Sydney to San Francisco, ready to help you with awesome creative ideas. They make crowdsourcing work for you. So if you need a logo or you're working on your creative branding, you can go to designcrowd.com and post a brief describing the design you need. And then within about two to seven days, you'll receive up to over a hundred different designs from designers around the world. Then you pick the best design and approve payment to the designer. So you're only paying for the design that you want. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of freelancing and out of crowdsourcing. And you don't have to be a huge company like Harvard Business School to use Design Crowd, although they have used it as well. You can start a project on Design Crowd for as little as $99. And if you go right now to designcrowd.com forward slash health and wellness or enter the promo code health and wellness on their website, then our health and wellness listeners will receive up to $150 off of your design project. That's designcrowd.com forward slash health and wellness or entering that promo code health and wellness. Are you tired of the same old news? Are you sick of the seemingly endless political spin and negativity? The DSNC America Still Beautiful podcast is a weekly news podcast covering all the top positive and uplifting news stories. We cover stories that will inspire, uplift, and remind you of the good in the world. Tune into the Golden State Media Concepts America Still Beautiful podcast to get all the great and positive news stories of today. Download the GSNC America Still Beautiful podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. We just talked about the Welcome back, and we just got back from talking about the cat tunnel, the collapsible tunnel that they can run around and maybe just hide out, pretty much. And now we're going to talk about something that honestly brings me back to like another commercial a few years back. And I gotta say, I mean, the cat litter mat, it, you know, it sounds pretty interesting, and it's supposed to like trap uh like litter from your litter box or your cat's litter box um and basically like pour it back into the into the cat litter box so all that clean litter that well clean as it as clean as it can get so all of that litter can be just poured back into it and reused which is great and you know it's supposed to it's supposed to prevent all the mess of the cat just kind of kicking up all the all the litter while they're, you know, doing their business. And, you know, that's pretty, that's nice, I would say, in theory. <laughs> but continuing on with this, there is all, the one feature is that it's washable and it is urine waterproof and, as I said, a scatter control with a handle. So this with Prime and free returns, this is $19.99, and it doesn't look like they've really cut anything out from there. So that is same price for, for everyone. So this thing is a large size, like 30 by 24, and it kind of leaves a wider border around the litter tray or the litter box. Um, I'm looking at the picture right now, and it looks like they're... They have a, a litter box cover for this particular tray, which is great. It, that helps it helps this mat be a little bit more useful. But if you don't have a cover, like I don't know about you guys, but Eisen just kind of kicks up the litter wherever he wants on all sides. 
And, well, that mat doesn't seem like it would be really worth it. Because based on how they have it placed in the picture, they basically put it right in front of the, of the box to where um, the cat is supposed to kind of like use it as a welcome mat pretty much to wipe off the claws. Shape of the surface of this of this mat is essentially a way to like let the cats you know scratch at it, get the th get the litter up from underneath their claws, that kind of stuff. It all sounds perfect, but let's think. How many of these would you need if a cat like Aizen decided to just kind of throw a party in this litter box and litter is everywhere? Only one side is potentially protected and honestly, Aizen does not really wipe his claws or his paws when he first leaves. He's wiping the claws on the side of the litter box and uh, if there's a wall, he's going to be scratching at the walls to uh, get the litter out from under his paws. And then, like, that's really about it. It's, he's a, he's a messy boy. <laughs> and we constantly have to sweep all around the space because he manages to get litter, like, halfway through the, the laundry room, pretty much. So, I don't really see this as being as effective for a cat like Eisen, hey, if your cat is neat and clean and just kind of <laughs> just kind of a rule follower, and I doubt that's true because no cat is a rule follower, but it's like it's it's <laughs> I would not buy this. <laughs> I'll be so honest with you, I would not buy this. Like, uh, let's see, customer service. If you have any questions with the cat litter mat, please contact us. We will solve your problems within 24 hours. If you're not satisfied with your purchase, we provide an unconditional refund. So, okay, that sounds, that's more of an incentive to try it out. But with other mats that we have used in the past, uh, Eisen hasn't really enjoyed them. But they didn't have this type, this type of texture, pretty much. Now, Let's see, are there any reviews on this? That's what I want to know. So, let's see. I am not seeing any reviews. Oh, wait. So, 32 customer ratings, and it has a 5-star review, which sounds pretty... like a pretty good accomplishment. So, let's see. One lady says that it's large, and it's mostly set... Like, other mats are, like, mostly for catching a little bit of an area around the tray. So this size is, like, much bigger than that, apparently. And it sounds like the this lady is extremely happy with how it looks. The bottom layers, uh, thick and waterproofs. The fact you can part the two layers is easy trans for easy transport to a bin is great as well. So it's... There's so many people that are happy about this, actually. It kind of makes me wonder. Um, but it also makes me think of a friend of mine who actually used, like, a big tub uh, that has those little ropey little side um, handles to it. And she used that as her cat's litter box. Why? Because her cat basically... She, basically said pees like an elephant. <laughs> so I can't imagine that Aizen, this would be very, he doesn't care. He is an and he'll just do whatever he wants. We are his peasants. So um, if anyone has trouble, I would be very interested in seeing what the variance is like. But I just, I mean, it's great that I'm technically not wasting and that will have like a trips to um, for your cat in terms of the that your time. I just need every, not all of it's going to be, unless I just kind of used a little, um, dustpan and just 
dumped it into the mat and then poured it into the litter box, but then that means other gross stuff is going to get into his litter box. And Eisen is a very picky boy. I'm sorry. Picky, picky man. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> but I just, yeah, thinking things through, I would definitely not buy this. But hey, to each their own. They're cats that are so different because, well, that's just how it is. If, you know, each and every one of them has a different personality. Same thing with dogs and other types of pets, too. So it might work for your cat, but I'm pretty sure it won't work for mine. I'm not really bashing on the product because it does look like it's effective for, for some people. But again, I just, I just don't know that Eisen really would find any use for this. And, you know, back to that video that I was telling you about, like, they had a 3D image, like a 3D creation of a mat very similar to this, and just kind of like for a final story for this segment, um, it showed the cat go into its litter box, and then it exited, and like, again, like a welcome mat, it was just scratching its little paws on it, and then it showed a close-up of the, the litter being caught and then put into the mat itself, and then the cat walking away. Okay, that might be natural. Um, so then the person like takes the, takes the mat, pours it into the litter, and end of the story. One of my friends, <laughs> I actually shared this on Facebook because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> One of my friends actually said, if only it worked that way. So I imagine that he also kind of had the same idea as I did, that cats are, cats are not jerks, but they are quite full of themselves. And, well, for good reason. Because, well, we, we essentially take care of his every need. And they recognize that. <laughs> And I just kind of imagine that Regina would recognize it and she'd be so happy about it. But no, Eisen knows that we are his servants. And that's okay. Because, well, he's cute. And when he gets feisty, it's just because he needs the attention. But anyway, just this pro I'm going to repeat it again. I'm not getting this product because I can't see the use of it for for our cat. And, I mean, maybe this next product... Let me see what this next product is. I actually have all of the tabs open up for the different products. Because, hey, I might want to put it on my wish list. <laughs> yeah, this next product is going to be very interesting. And, well, after the break, we'll talk about the Cat House and Scratcher for your little buddies. So we'll be back after this commercial break. I want to talk to you guys about this amazing product I've been using lately called Hydrant. If you're like me and you want to kick the coffee habit, but you're worried about your energy levels depleting to avoid the morning sluggishness and that midday slump, you need to make sure you're hydrated. It's super important. And that's where I've been using Hydrant. And for 25% off your first order, you can go to drinkhydrant.com and enter promo code GSMC at checkout. Hydrant is basically flavored electrolyte packets you mix directly into your water to make hydrating your body easy and delicious. And what I love about Hydrant, it's backed by research. The formula was developed by Oxford scientists to provide perfectly balanced, efficient hydration. Again, that's drinkhydrant.com and enter promo code GSMC for 25% off your first order. Another really cool thing about Hydrant, there's no synthetic colors or artificial sweeteners. The formula is vegan and you can choose between three different flavors or a variety pack. So for all my vegan friendly fellows out there, this one's for you. Again, this is drinkhydrant.com and enter promo code GSMC. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! 
Bye. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. We are back, and I bet you're excited here. You're excited to hear more about these products that you can get for your pet. So, we were just talking about that litter mat thing that I definitely am not going to be buying. So, let's move on to the next thing that I may or may not be buying. We'll see. Let's see here. The <laughs> oh, yeah. The house and scratcher with bonus catnip included. So, hmm, where do I start with this? <laughs> uh, first of all, its color listed on here is, is the color of cottage, whatever that means. Well, actually, if you look at the actual product, it looks like it's completely made out of cardboard with, with like a design on it that makes it look like a cottage which is great. But now I'm wondering, can't I make one for myself? Actually, yes, I have. In the past, I have made one for Aizen. And while it wasn't as fancy as this one, I mean, seriously, this one has a chimney. <laughs> Who, what cat needs a chimney in their own little cottage? But what, right, let's take a step back. It's a product being sold on Amazon, so there must be some use for it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Actually, it's a five-star review out of 384 ratings. It is an Amazon's Choice product. And I just can't believe it because you could get your own cardboard box and make your own little house for your cat. And then put in like your those very cheap uh, cat, stra cat scratching pads inside of it. You have Gorilla Glue. You have Super Glue. I, I don't understand. And, I mean, it's like paying $14.99 for a box. Okay? It is $14.99 for a box. I mean, <laughs> apparently there's free returns, too. Because, yes, your cat's going to try it. They're going to scratch at it a little. And then they'll walk away and never use it again. So... Can I return that with gently used written on the side of it? <laughs> I don't know. So let's see. This is actually made by the ASPCA. <laughs> and I feel bad for laughing about it, but this is not a good product. Well, it's not a reasonable product. I would never spend basically $15 plus shipping to have a box within a box sent to my house. There is absolutely no way. Even it even describes it as a cardboard cat house. And okay, let me tell you about this house that I made for Eisen. It had multiple sections of it and it had like a little door opening for Eisen that was nice and big. We put in windows, like actual windows. Like we took made the effort to like take a box cutter and just kind of draw out a, a window for him, like multiple windows. And like we had like a second story to it and it was just beautiful. It not, you know, it doesn't have the color of cottage, 
but it was still beautiful in its own sense. And I just kind of think, well, mm, I don't, again, I just don't know. Fourteen ninety nine. dollars I, I guess the plus here is that there's catnip included, but I mean, I have this big old container of 100% natural catnip from uh, Petco, and it's like 2.5 ounces. So I, that's a lot of catnip that I have. How much catnip are they going to provide for you? Because, well, I think I got this thing for like 10 bucks. So are you going to give me 10 bucks of catnip? Is that most of the price of, of this thing? Because I'm not paying that much for cardboard. I am not. I'm sorry, ASPC. I love you, but I cannot imagine doing this to myself. There are better ways to spend my money. At least that's what I think. At least that's what I think. And, man, I just... Let's see. Let's see these pictures here. Hmm. It seems very... I don't know. Oh, it looks like they do carve out the house, um, the windows here too. And they have the little window panes and little shutters that, you know, are just painted on there. Let's see. Sprinkle some catnip on this to entice your cats to scratch a cardboard house that could have just been a cardboard box. You know, also, another way that you can entice your cat is going to a store. Well, we went to a store in Orlando. Uh, it was an oriental store. We loved it so much. And the the owner of the store was named Paul, and he was um, from China. <laughs> I don't know why I'm including that, but uh, yeah, he was one of the best store owners that I'd ever met in my entire life. And, well, he let us have some boxes because he heard that we had cats. And one of the boxes he used for seafood. And just the smell of seafood was there for Aizen to just kind of sit in. He stayed in that box for hours, just rubbing his face all over it. Can this box, can this cat house box do that for my Aizen? That experience for him can rarely be replicated because, well, I mean... I can't really find many places that'll give boxes that have seafood, that, that has seafood in it in the, in the first place. But let's see. It claims that it'll keep cats entertained in off furniture. It's easy to assemble because it's a box and all the parts are included because it's a box. I just don't understand. What are these people thinking paying that much for a box? You could go to, I don't know, the pharmacy and see if they have any extra boxes that you can oh <laughs> I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing more uh, let's see but it looks like still a box with different quote unquote colors of uh, a van or uh, let's see a carnival or beach house, beach hotel. I mean, I guess, I guess if you want your cat to enjoy different fake scenery, sure. But a box is a box. I'm going to stand by that. And let's see. It says fun designs keeps boredom at bay. Even more fun with those catnip that you don't know how much you're getting. And then, of course, durable construction. There is no cardboard box that is durable for my cat. There's no. <laughs> there is. So I just don't understand. Let's see. Um, hmm. There has to be. There are more of these? Ah. Oh, gosh. I can't believe it. Let's see. Oh, a question that someone had over here. My chimney is missing. Can I get a replacement? This is a gift. And someone answers, mine didn't have a chimney either. The cat loves it, though. Okay, well, that's great for you. So apparently, there are also 
missing pieces of this cardboard box. Great. But people say it's easy to assemble. Cats love it. And um, let's see, super cute because that matters to your cat. And they say it's large enough, a little hideaway. Um, great. Yeah, great. I just, <laughs> I just don't understand. Let's see. Oh, it has one star, uh, one one star review it looks like. And I'm sorry, I have to look at it. Uh, maybe... Oh, there are three of those. So, let's see. It says, for one person, I'm not a fan of the shiny exterior of this scratcher house. And assembled, it looks kind of like ramshackle compared to other scratcher houses that I've had. The opening on the end is too big and tall to be cozy for cats. The side windows are cute, though. But mainly the cardboard gives off a strong solvent odor. I have bought several scratcher houses and countless cardboard scratchers, and none of them ha ever had the odor this cat this house has. I am not even sure I'm going to let my cats have it. I wish I had not bought two of them. Oof. Yikes. I would have bought zero of them. Let's see. Missing parts. Missing both gable ends and chimney missing. <laughs> Last one. Cat tore it up within a day. He loved it, but it broke fast. Waste of money. Yes. Thank you. Too bad you spent that money and you let your cat do that in, in a single day. So, oh my gosh, why? I just don't get it. It's, it's a box. It is a cardboard box that you can just have at home. I have tons of cardboard boxes because you know what? I recently moved. I can just gift that to Aizen and he'll be happy. Right, guy? Right? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I got very riled up about that. It's just a waste of money. Don't waste your money on this. I get a box. Just get a box and they will be happy. I mean, again, it's not all about you. That decorative stuff is about you, not your cat. Anyway, we are going to go on a commercial break. And the next item we are going to be talking about is, let's see... Ooh, I love this. Uh, let's see. The cat shelf that I've been wanting so badly for this little guy. Yeah. Oh, you're so sleepy and cool and calm. You like that skin, skin scratch. Okay. So, we will be right back after this commercial break, and we're going to talk about cat shelves. Because it's an amazing idea. I love it. You really can't underestimate the importance of having the right creative work for your brand or your product. Whether it's a logo, a website, a book cover, or an ad campaign, you really need a quality design to make that big difference pop and deliver your overall engagement and success in a competitive market. That's where Design Crowd comes in. Design Crowd has over 750,000 designers from Sydney to San Francisco ready to help you with awesome creative ideas. They make crowdsourcing work for you. So if you need a logo or you're working on your creative branding, you can go to designcrowd.com and post a brief describing the design you need. And then within about two to seven days, you'll receive up to over a hundred different designs from designers around the world. Then you pick the best design and approve payment to the designer. So you're only paying for the design that you want. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of freelancing and out of crowdsourcing. And you don't have to be a huge company like Harvard Business School to use Design Crowd, although they have used it as well. You can start a project on Design Crowd for as little as $99. And if you go right now to designcrowd.com forward slash health and wellness or enter the promo code health and wellness on their website, then our health and wellness listeners will receive up to $150 off of your design project. That's designcrowd.com forward slash health and wellness or entering that promo code health and wellness. Is weird, odd, strange, or just plain bizarre is really your cup of tea. 
Then, the Golden State Media Concepts Weird News Podcast will give you that fix. Can't believe it? Well, listen for yourself as we deliver the strangest news you definitely won't find on CNN or Fox. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Weird News Podcast. Welcome back. We were just talking about that cat house, which is essentially a cardboard box, which is, to be honest, a waste of your money. Please do not get this product. I know you're supporting the ASPCA with this, but come on. You you can just directly donate money to the ASPCA. Um, but let's move on before I get riled up again. So we are now going to talk about the cat shelf, which unfortunately is super expensive, especially when I want multiple ones. Let's see here. Hmm. Where should I start? Um, hmm. Oh, I didn't mention the actual price. Sorry. It is basically $150 for a nice little shelf, but I can get a shelf like shelves from Lowe's and get little brackets to to keep the to keep the shelf up. So this is me just kind of going beyond. It's not going to be as pretty as this cuz it has a nice let's see. It's called the refined feline lotus branch. So it's kind of like a branch like kind of thing, which uh which is actually pretty nice. It's a modern cat shelf. It's great for large cats, but Eisen is no longer large. Um, made of a combination of solid wood and bent ply. So comfortable Berber carpet, replaceable if worn. So on top of this shelf for your cat is like carpet that they can like scratch at and have fun with, cuddle into. It's great. And it's 61 inches long and, and 10.5 inches deep. Okay. I can deal with that. That seems pretty cool. And... Well, let's see. I just if I if I try to buy it today, it'll be delivered on Friday. But no, Sam, you can't do it. Um, even though the cat in this picture looks so comfy and regal, even though there might be like another lotus leaf that you could put on top of this. Oh my gosh, and the cat's adorable. Man, I. I should probably ris um, visit the refined feline, but I don't even have a couch yet. I only have armchairs. Maybe I should focus on the couch rather than the cat shelf. I don't know. It's pretty amazing and I love it. And just, it's sleek looking and you don't have to really worry too much about it making your house look like a cat farm or something. It's, or or poorly put together, because I can imagine some people would be afraid of that. But again, there's, oh my gosh, there's a lotus tower that goes along with this. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I want one. I really want like the entire package. I'm not, I, I don't even want to imagine how much it's going to cost though. But let's see, there are plenty of little videos and it looks beautiful in some of these people's houses and gosh the the Berber carpet would probably be very easy to get a hold of from you know for many stores just to replace what the cat may or may not destroy so oh the one person says that the carpet is not scratching pads uh it's like coarse like an office carpet which honestly Eisen likes that so I don't see the problem there. Um, man, gosh, those cats look so comfy. 
and I don't see the lowest star review is a two star. So what do they have to say? Usually, whenever I'm <laughs> whenever I'm online shopping, I want to see what uh, what what is the worst that somebody has said about a product before I get it. And let me go. It's oh gosh. So there are two star reviews here. So cats love it, but caused my cat's entire nail to rip off and a trip to the emergency vet. I even trimmed my cat's nails the day before it happened, and they were super short. It's if something startles your cat, stay on the um, say outside noise. The Berber loop catches the nail, so it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so. Let's see. Okay, you can't buy replacement Berber, which is easy. You can go to Lowe's and like see if you can get some flooring. That's perfectly fine. And <laughs> this person now has to put two towels over it to try to make it like a faux fur pad. <laughs> and, um, gosh. They say that the pre-drilled holes were too short in width apart. So, that's interesting. Um... Someone was very disappointed and upset about how this product is difficult to install. It's also quite heavy for the accessories included. So they say it's flimsy and the wall anchors break. So, I mean, if you're handy, which I am, I would definitely say that this is a good, <laughs> this is fine. I won't say it's a good product based on some of these ideas that are, that based on these comments that are being thrown out here. Um, but overall, I mean, it's 4.8 stars out of 5, which, and how many people have rated this? It's 104 positive reviews, which, again, is pretty cool. But, man, I want to go to the refined feline and see what other products they have because again it's beautiful looking I can imagine it like in my house in my living room a nice escape place for Aizen and nice and away from from the dogs too but do I want to spend that much money on it the answer is yes more of the question will my husband be approving of this and yes my husband must be buy whatever I want within reason, but we have a set budget, and also, he is tired of my crazy cat ideas. <laughs> but, overall, it looks great, and I just don't see what the big deal is with, like, the, with the issues with, I don't know, assembling it. It seems, it doesn't seem like a big deal to me, but again, I'm, I'm a handy person, it might be difficult for other people, but again, like these animals look so cute in this and just it it is just kind of a way to include cat stuff without making your house look like a, you know, like an actual cat house. Because, well, let's be honest, cat scratchers, you know, those little pads that you can get from the store, and those those are not vis visually appealing. It's not aesthetically pleasing. So I can understand why some people would not really like the idea of, like, putting more cat stuff out. And, like, we need to change that, honestly. Um, I should probably, like, get a picture of the little cat tower we have in our patio for Eisen. And he likes going there whenever he gets the chance. And I'm thinking after this podcast episode, he's gonna be going there. He needs some love. He needs some fresh air. I'm going to open up a window for him. But, yeah, I just... It's... it's it, is what you, it is what it is. I mean, they give you everything that you need. And it's pretty. And that's something that a lot of people like when it comes to... To the aesthetics of their house, pretty much. It looks... Well, again, it looks refined, Right? refined feline. So I just, I see this as a really good addition to your home, especially if you have, um, what do they call it? Um, tree, well, tree dog, 
I think it's uh, tree dwellers versus um, bush dwellers. Yeah, I think that's, that's what it's called. But Eisen's typically a bush dweller. Um, he likes hanging out, um, scurrying about, and like, I don't even know, like a little mouse, maybe? But let's not talk about mice, because mice scare me. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I just, for different cats, this is going to be a really fun thing for them. And I think that if I were to get this, it would be, well, getting the entire set, if I could do that, well, I think Aizen would be much happier. But I don't have $150 to spare right now, unfortunately. Now, let's on. I really love just staring at these fixtures, but we got to move on. We got to talk about this next product that, um, well, actually is amazing, but I don't have the tools for it. But it says it's easy installation, and, it, and it's the port portal cat door uh, for interior doors. And it also has a grooming brush, and, you know, attached to it too, which is pretty cool. But we will go over that after this commercial break. The Golden State Media Concepts Travel Podcast, the show that gives you advice on everything travel. We explore places you've always wanted to go, as well as giving tips for traveling in those places. We'll give you advice on the best sites for travel tips, information, and discounts. Join us as we travel the world, explore cultures, and meet new people. The Golden State Media Concepts Travel Podcast has got you covered. Download the GSMC Travel Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, and as promised, we're going to be talking about that cat portal uh, hole for you that you can put into your um, put into your house and, well, basically make a beautiful opening for your cat at, in your interior doors. So we did talk about the cat shelves, which I'm absolutely in love with, but I can't afford it right now. I really want it. But, you know, you gotta make some choices in your life, and sometimes they're the choices that you don't want to make. But, now, let's talk about this perfect, that's what, that's how they say it, um, portal cat door for interior doors. It has a grooming brush. It's good for large cat, large pet cats to pass through, and it's for, like, cats up to 20 pounds. So, it claims it has an easy install to uh, to do for the pet door and also the instruction. Um, okay, I see little four stars for its readings out of 168 ratings. So that seems like a promising thing that I am missing is pools. Uh, and I hate when, uh, Wednesday, May 6th, you know, the, the postal services and delivery services are still, you know, a, reasonably um very busy and packed so but looking at these pictures it looks so much like uh like a little it's just kind of a little hidey hole for him and it looks like it's a good way to really keep your cats separated from uh those larger dogs so regina would definitely not be able to make it through there i am positive that cookie could get through there but cookie is Cookie is nothing. <laughs> uh, I love you, Cookie, but <laughs> you don't scare Eisen too much. Um, but it's, let's see, how big? Oh, okay, so there, ooh, there's no flap to terrorize uh, the cats whenever they 
prance on through, which is pretty cool. Um, as of right now, there's only nine left in stock orders soon. Oh, gosh, I really want it. <laughs> um, gosh. So, let's see here. Oh, my heart's just racing right now because I'm thinking about how adorable this thing is. And I just kind of wonder, like, what what tools do you actually need to make this work? Mm -hmm. So, step-by-step -step instructions. Let's see. A very accurate template. And there are some that are <laughs> more cat-shaped, you know, cat-face-shaped than others, which is cool. Um... It looked a sort of cutter for this, and I know the technical term for that, so I'm not that handy, guys. I'm handy enough. I can, you know, I can do plenty of stuff to fix things in my house, but that is, uh, that is a little more difficult. But, ooh, there's a 3% in one-star reviews that we have to look at, of course. And I... Let's see. <laughs> Item did not come with screws required for installation. Well, hmm. I think that could be solved with buying your own screws. But I can understand why you're upset. You don't want to go out to the hardware store and buy something that should have been given to you as a part of your uh, package. And I can understand that. Now, let's see. The top critical review is a three-star review. It says, very cute, but small for large cats. Um, hmm. Our 17 pound cat could not fit with the brush attached, so we had to remove it just so he could enter, and even then, it was a tight squeeze for him. My 6 and 8 pound kitty uh, go through easily. I love that it keeps my 20 pound dog out, uh, out though. So, I mean, that's very useful, and um, it would kind of make me want to look at like larger, uh, larger portal doors. For Eisen. So, okay, that, that was actually really useful. It wasn't, I, I couldn't really solve that without, you know, aside from actually getting a bigger hole. It's not something I can easily solve myself if I actually had it installed already. So that that's actually a re really good point, but it has 86% in five-star reviews. So I just, I can't imagine it'd be too bad. But I... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Would Eisen love this? And I'm going to have to say absolutely yes. Will my pocket like it? Uh, almost. But then I'd have to buy more tools. Which, I mean, sure, online shopping is fun, right? <laughs> That's what we're doing too, right? Okay, let's see. I'm going to add this to the wish list. And you know what? I'm going to go back to the cat shelf and also add it to my wish list. Let's see, where can I do that? Hiding it from me. <laughs> so, yes, definitely add to my shopping list. Because that is going to be amazing. Gosh. I love everything about this. <laughs> about uh, shopping for Aizen. It's beautiful because, well, Aizen needs more ways to just enrich himself. Because, you know, sometimes he gets tired of being in his bachelor pad. And, hey, this porthole, it'll give him easy access to our bedroom. Um, especially, oh my gosh, especially if we have the uh, cat shelf just kind of spanning our back wall. And then just leads down very quickly to our door, into that porthole. So he could completely evade, um, evade Regina. Well, Cookie, not so much, as I said, but he can totally evade Regina, and she's the one that, you know, <laughs> bothers him the most, honestly. But, oh, let's see, Black and Decker Jigsaw. Okay, that's what I need. I need a Jigsaw, and, oh, this, that looks reasonably priced. And then I'd have to get, let's see, Assorted T-Shank Jigsaw Blades. So... All of that together, let's see, we'll round that up to 15, 15 plus 32, okay, I, I could live with that, but <laughs> I, 
I don't know, again, if my husband would be for that. Just because, well, mm, we, well, we've been saving our money pretty well because we're not going out all the time anymore. But it's nice to save money more often than not. But it's for Aizen. And I can imagine that he would be so a little more open to that than than normal. But Aizen, what do you think? Do you think I should ask um, ask your dad or your um, I don't even know what to call call him right now because Aizen's more of like a roommate. Uh, so I don't know. Aizen, would you enjoy going around, going through portholes, and you know just being your fantastic you? You'd be upstairs more. And we miss you. But but yeah, I just, I'm thinking of this porthole and how great it would be for the household. Sure, um, Cookie could go in and on as she please, but honestly, she doesn't really do much damage aside from that wicker laundry basket that we had. So I know not to get wicker, by the way. But I know how Reggie will get, and she will be very distressed, I would think. So there's that. I'm really hoping that Eric would let me do this because, again, it's for Aizen. Gets him to roam around a little more. Um, he does get a lot of exercise hopping over the gate, though, which is nice. Well, it's nice when he does that. But I wish that these, um, these little doors would be a great addition to our house. And again, we can make it happen because, well, we own the house, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> At just staying, um, staying indoors for so long, for like a month in your house that you just recently bought is, um, is very refreshing. It like makes me really love the house even more. And it makes me want to do more stuff to make it better for everyone that's living there. Like the little doors for Mr. Cat. And it doesn't even have to be a special little door. Just one that you would, you would enjoy, right, buddy? Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry for bothering you. But, you know, that's really, that's really all I want. I want this door for our little buddy to be able to just roam around the house and escape from the, you know, escape from the big girl. But anyway, we are basically on to our next break, our final break, and we are going to be talking about something fantastic. It's a novelty item. I'm still not going to tell you yet because it's really hilarious and, again, it makes me think of The Office. Want to find out what movies to go see? Then check out the GSMC Movie Podcast. It's your ticket to the latest movies, whether it's a new blockbuster event, romantic, comedy, or action flick. This show has got it all covered. They talk some what to go see now. Don't bother. What's hot on Netflix and everything in between? That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash movie dash podcast. When it's all about the movies, it has to be this new show. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. We are back, and, well, I've been teasing you guys for a good amount of time about this, and <laughs> this novelty item is called the Lick'em Tongue Cat Brush slash Scratcher. So, a fairly odd novelty is what it is. And it's it's an Amazon's choice, which is hilarious. And it's four stars out of 85 ratings, so, yeah, people like their jokes. <laughs> So it's ten ninety nine with um, basically free delivery, and 
it claims that it is the perfect accessory. So essentially, this is like a night guard or a, um, a mouth guard that has like an extension to it, where <laughs> at the end it's like curved down and it looks like a, a lot of little pointy things that are supposed to feel nice, I guess. Well, it's supposed to be like a brush. <laughs> so basically, you're... Angela in that episode of The Office and you're licking well having the motion of licking your your cat which is weird but uh, okay so I'm looking at the pictures though and the cat does not look like he enjoys this at all and just to add to the humor of it like it's this big burly man um, essentially like with a huge beard doing this. So I just, I can't believe it. It's amazing. And well, I'll definitely not buy it because well, that, that's a gift kind of deal up there. If you want me to, you has to get it for me because I'm not spending that money, but it is really funny. Eisen would probably hate it, but gosh, the look of disgust in this cat's face. When you get a chance, look up this item on Amazon and just look at the cat. And all three pictures of the cat. <laughs> One is basically screaming, please let me go. I don't want this. Um, it's supposed to be designed for kitty comfort, but it's just so weird. I don't... Is that supposed to make you feel closer to your cat? Maybe? But I guess that, you know, it's a different kind of affection to your pets. It's... I'm trying to think if there's anything novelty that I ever got for eyes. And the closest thing the novelty I ever got was like a bow tie collar for him, which he decided to rip apart and remove the bow tie. And eyes has never really been a, a collar person anyway. Person. <laughs> yeah, he's a person. Uh, so we usually let him be because it gives him like irritation around his neck and he starts losing his hair. But anyway, I don't think, again, that Aizen would like this because, well, it's not pleasant looking. He'll kind of stare at it and, you know, probably get all bitey because he's not really sure what to think of it. Now, I'm really curious about, um, oh my gosh, someone actually asked, is this safe for work and not S uh, and not NF NSFW? Um, and somebody says... They're not sure what this person is asking. I don't know what this person is asking either. Do they know what this thing is? But, I mean... Oh, it... Let's see. Surely there's, like, a review that can give me some idea. So it has 12% of its reviews as a one star. So it's gotta be good, right? It says it's a gift for a cat. Whatever. Find a better novelty item. Don't buy. So I bought, I bought this for a white elephant gift. It just came in a plain white box without any pictures to what it was, like the picture shown for the product. So you are paying for a big chunk of plastic. If you're getting it as a gift for fun, they'll be confused. So don't waste your money. Well, surely, if you're giving them a white elephant gift, you would have some knowledge of what they might like. Or if, I just don't know, just, I don't really see a problem with that. Um, too big to actually fit in your mouth, but the idea was funny. <laughs> Maybe your mouth is small. Uh, this is not the real thing. It is bulky and the bristles are too huge to actually use on a cat. It's more of a joke gift than any, than something useful. Okay. And I want to see the video of what happens next after you try that, try that on a cat. <laughs> Oh gosh, that is that is a good a good point there. Um, let's see. I would pick up Eisen. He'd be like, "What in the world is that? Get it away from me!" And then he tried to um, struggle out of my um, out of my arms, and I would start doing this licking motion at him. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. <laughs> yeah, not at all. He would probably run away as far as he could and hide. Because that seems like equivalent to his medicine, essentially. Like, he 
he hates it and he's not gonna you know deal with that so <laughs> oh my gosh Eisen I would never put you through that maybe for fun yeah maybe for fun but yeah I just the the thing about it not being like a white elephant gift it's well the part of the white elephant gift is getting something that is useless to the indi other individual or it doesn't really it's like Regifting or something where this might be funny to this person. So you kind of have to know your audience when it comes to uh, doing this as a white elephant Christmas thing. And I just don't understand. If, the, if you knew the person wasn't really into cats in the... Well, ooh, no, scratch that. Um, if you're co-worker was not interested in cats at all and you gave them something that you basically use for your cats for a funny gag well that's not a good white elephant gift it is literally useless and whenever I dealt with white elephants they at least have you know some aesthetic that is pleasing to the person receiving it or at least something that can make them laugh again know your audience buddy I just don't know. <laughs> just the the lick a tongue thing or the the licking product. I just don't see it as something that you should waste your money on for yourself. It's definitely a gag gift to someone else, and you have to know this person's uh, sense of humor. And I think that's what the person was missing out. They didn't get the sense of humor. So let's say that somebody liked the office, then they would be extremely thrilled by that if they've seen that um, episode. Um, but, uh, I just, aside from that, I mean, it's, as this person said, it's like you're buying a big piece of plastic for like 10 bucks, maybe 11, but it's just, maybe you are not really worried about that and it's just strictly for fun I guess but again it's a waste of your money and while I don't know why I'm so focused on a waste of money I mean who knows the my husband actually told me just just a few minutes ago like well the cardboard cat box is mostly you supporting and essentially donating your money to the ASPCA and I'm like but it's a waste of money I could just I could just I don't know donate money already and make my own cat house I have plenty of boxes as I said but for this thing you can't do anything with it aside from terrorize your cat maybe you could try it with your dog you can see what happens there <laughs> but I just don't know it's let's see ooh ooh top critical review it is really hard plastic. Cat doesn't like it. Told me to use it on the dog. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, there are people that definitely see this as a as a thing that's not really great for cats. Again, it goes back to it's not all about you. Anything that you do for your cat, anything that you buy that is intended for your cat, make sure you ask. Is this for me or for the cat? This licking plastic liquor att attachment, I don't know, it's not useful in any way. And it's not going to be something that your cat will be entertained by. Have you, uh, what, so my question is, what entertains a cat? And typically you see those little, uh, little rainbow dancers that really work with them. They have like catnip, that works for them, that entertains them. Um, let's see, what else entertains them? Um, hmm, I should know this. Like yarn <laughs> is something that can entertain them. But a big hunk of plastic that can be used to uncomfortably groom you, I just don't see. I just don't see it. And yes, maybe it's just that I don't have a sense of humor. But I don't know. I think that the the lick thing is kind of 
a little bit out there, even for me. But anyway, I have to say that this has been a strange episode for me, just going through all these uh, products. And I'm not, you know, I'm not like being sponsored by them. I just wanted to talk about them. Now, I really do... I really do think that people do enjoy these things, and it really depends on what you want for your cats. Anyway, we're heading out now, we as in me, <laughs> and I just wanted to thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Pets Podcast. We were brought to you today by the GSMC Podcast Network, and, you know, as usual, I would love, love, love to hear what you guys have to say, so please leave a review. And please follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, let's see, and Facebook. And, well, you know, because I'll be having tons of pictures of my animals, as per usual. And also of that cat tower with Aizen in it. All right. You guys have a great night. You've been listening to the GSC Pets Podcast, part of the GSC at podcast.com. Download our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all of the shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From movies to music, from sports to entertainment, from business news to weird news. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's podcast. <laughs>